Hello everyone, I'm Hyperdrive XA and welcome back to The Walking Dead Season 1. So, last episode, we kind of have a quite a long talk with Kenny um, for just a short time. We got him we got we got him something that can at least um takes his mind that will take his mind off things. He's gonna he kinda have a very he kinda had a very um shitty day today you know with his son and wife dying and all <laughs> and <clears throat> and we kind of given Clementine some survival survival skills you know just take it, teaching her how to shoot a gun and um, grooming her hair for a bit so if you guys haven't seen that episode yet can you look down on the description box below or you can just go to the upper right hand corner of the video and look it up from there. So, without further ado, let's continue. So what we got here is, yeah, it's a tank full of gasoline, I guess. We can just ram through it with our train. Yeah, that's a very, it's, it's pretty much a very, a very bad idea. So, let's see what we can do from up there. We kind of met, we also kind of met, um, a new pair of a new pair of people like we're gonna meet them up top if i come up there you better not be murderers or thieves i guess you'll have to find out speak for yourself lee you actually killed a person guys is what we need <laughs> they're what you think we need we're doing fine for now what about when stop it hey dude i'm omid lee Krista, what's the deal with the train? We're driving it. Oh, man. Look, you, you want to help us out? We could use some able bodies and... Yeah, we, we really need some help. What's in it? Oh, <laughs> shit! God damn, you guys have a kid! What are yeah, you doing here? no shit. <laughs> Do you know how long it's been since I've seen a kid? Shit! What's your name? Clementine. Oh, so he gets to swear. Well, this is great. See? Things are looking up. You're not her dad. He down there? It's that obvious? Of course it's obvious. No, he's not down there. <laughs> huh. What's your story? I came across Clementine alone. First day all of this happened, I was actually incarcerated. Sick. Do you have any prison tats? I uh, didn't make it that far. And everybody down there, they're cool? Yeah, let's just Kenny go with Kenny. His wife and kid. Man, how long ago? What Recently. Uh, I don't know, uh, four? Maybe two hours ago. God damn. We're sorry for anything that's happened to you guys. That train is awesome, though. A tank is your real problem. We'll help you with it, but if we see anything we don't like, we're moving on down the road. Alone. We'd appreciate the help. You can't just blast through it, I guess? If you could get it down, the rest would probably be pretty easy. We'll start there. We'll come down and settle in and see if we can help. Alright, um, first thoughts about Krista first. Because we're going to have a very long talk with Omid here. Krista is, um, sh shall we say, a bit cautious. I mean, we can't really we can't really blame her. I mean, it's been a pretty shitty um, situation with all the zombie apocalypse going on. And all right, Omid, um, his enthusiasm with kids is. <clears throat> Um, how should I say this? It's way beyond creepy. That look she, that that look he he did on them on Clementine. You're very suspicious, bro. I'm gonna t I'm gonna keep an eye on you. All right, let's just talk with them for a second. Am I gonna have to tell your people the plan or what? All right, they're not in the mood for talking. Let's see what, what we can find here. 
any any interactables at all. That's about the only useful thing in here. We could all we could always use some duct tape. I guess that's. Mm, I hope that's what I think it is. All right. Well, this takes me back on episode two. <laughs> it's empty. All right. Let's see what the damage is here. This thing is mangled to hell. No releasing it. No nothing. Well, the only way looks like the only thing to do here is just break off the couplings here. Still, the, still have to figure out how though. There's no way I'm pulling anything apart down there. Yeah, unless unless you're Superman or something. <laughs> All right, let's go down. Let's see what we. Let's just. Yeah, no, nothing else here. It's just. Let's just go down. Easy, Guys, Ben. This is old meat and Krista. No need to be suspicious of them. Like I said. We could use some good people. We just wanted to say hi and say your train is pretty cool. But we are not looking for charity. We could help you guys, though. Maybe. So, yeah. Hi. Uh, again? The plan is to cut that tanker down and be on our way. Seems like plan enough to me. You want to start in on that tanker? I'll get to know the girl for a minute, if you don't mind. And why don't I show you how this thing works, in case something happens? Really, Ken? It's probably for the best. Someone might want to have a look inside of that station back there, too. Sounds great. Let's do this thing. All right, we got some. We got some. Um, we got to have some background music. It's been a. It's been a tough day for them, so a little bit of music can soften up the mood for our new for the new pair that's joining us. Glad someone's managed to keep the spirit. Well, when you lose, when when you don't have anything to lose, I guess that's the only thing that's that's gonna keep you going. Hmm. Since I'm done with the spike remover, I may want to change weapons, change tools. But I don't think it's going it's going to let me at this point. Got a clear view up there? Yeah, we're good for a ways. Thank God. We need someone, anyone, to come along and and exterminate them or something. Toughen up. It's you, me, and now Chuck. Who knows what these new people have planned? There are gonna be a lot more walkers to take care of. That's what I'm afraid of. I'm telling you, Lee. If they ever get a hold of me, and I know I'm not getting out of it, that's it, man. I'm just gonna punch my own ticket. Punch your own ticket? Yeah. Take myself out. Don't be dramatic. And don't let them get a hold of you. Yeah, he's. Yeah, I guess he's very dramatic at back there. Alright, where is. Where are this. Oh, Alright, there they are. You interrogating this woman for us? Yep. She set off any alarm bells? Not yet. She's very thorough. That's what I like to hear. All right, Kenny did say about so something about the train station. Let's see what let's see what we can find here. Can I follow you over there? You don't like the new girl? I do, but it's like we're a team, like you said. Yeah. All right. Come on. Clementine and I are checking out this train station. All right. Hustle over if you hear anything. <laughs> 
Somebody must have been pretty desperate. Yeah, I, I don't think they they got the help they needed. All right, so so this train station has a boat for let's see here for a lot of things, I guess. This is more of a how should I say um, a group of shops. Um, in the train station. You should wait for me before trying to open doors. Sorry. Uh, luckily, it's locked. We'll get better at working together. I can't see in there. Man, is that the only? Is it the only? comment you need you can you have to say about this about this door mm, won't but uh, no sh well, we, we just have to I just I just had to use every option even though I know that's that the door has been boarded shut Doesn't look like that thing's worked in years. Well, that open window's the only option we have here, so I guess that's how we're going to get in. The window's open up there. Maybe I could look in. All right, just be careful. Just be careful, Clem. Why don't I put you on my shoulders and you can peek into that window up there? Sounds good. Okay, I can see in. What do I do now? What do you see? Lots of crates and stuff. Maybe we can find the key or figure out a way to knock this door down. Kenny'd probably have me pick the lock, which actually might work now that we have the time. I think I opened it. For real? I think so. Well, I'll be damned. All right, let's go inside. Let's go. Be careful. I'm supposed to tell you that. Yeah, I was sick of I was sick of telling you that as well. Dark. Yep. It's a perfect setting. It's dark in here. Maybe I can hold the door open? I don't like that. I'll prop it open with something. Yeah, this, this is a perfect setting for, for what looks to be a quick time event. Wish that thing was in my hands instead of over there. It's too dark otherwise. <laughs> I almost ran out of time oh, that time. <laughs> yeah, I I forgot I forgot that there was a time limit. So yeah. How we doing? Good. What do we need? Something to help us deal with the tanker out there. Not really. Don't don't worry, Lee. I mean at this at this kind of games at this kind of games there will be something that's gonna be pretty convenient like this blowtorch over here we need. <laughs> over there yeah we need to get in there and get that blowtorch now let's just try opening oh, good oh, of course and there's another there's another opening up there this looks like the same thing as looks like the same thing as on that door. There's some space up there, but not much. We're lucky I'm so little. Here we are. They didn't have much business back then. There are keys over there. For the gate? I hope so. 
not than just one lap. So, I'm, so yeah, I'm guessing that's for the gate. And judging by how that queue is inside, the, not outside this gate, we can probably expect expect some walkers inside. You okay going over the top of this fence? Yeah, definitely. The keys are on the opposite wall. Grab them and let's get this gate open. <coughs> Go on and grab the keys, Clem. Come on, scoot. Yep. Thank you. Where did he come from? <laughs> that's the only thing. That's the only weapon we have. Come on. Who who wants some? Come on. There we go. Not so hard. Ooh. <laughs> Good work, Lee. How did they how did they sneak up on the on us like like that? It's okay, it's okay. Everything's fine. Oh my god. I knew it. Keys now. Come on. Fuck it's still locked. Of course it's still locked. You don't need to examine that, Lee. Just open the damn the damn gate. Damn. That didn't go so good. No. It did not go so good, but we're okay. Everything's okay. What's going on? I thought I heard a gunshot. We're fine. Yeah, we almost got, uh, almost got grabbed by three zombies who came out of nowhere. You and an eight-year-old versus three of them, huh? Well, Lee's not, not, not that of a wimp. We handled it. Yeah, it looks like. What if you hadn't? I'm gonna go make sure the noise didn't cause us any problems. That's a good idea. Man, th this lady better get off my case. I hope you know what you're doing with her. We're still alive, aren't we? Yeah, you are. What's her prob what's her problem anyway? You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm a little shaky. It'll pass. Alright, let's just grab this and get get out of here. We got it. Well, let's go outside now. What did we learn? I'm not ready for a gun. We learned not to be afraid. They should have got us. But we got them. Yeah, you're right. Fear is the thing that will kill us. You understand? Where exactly did you, did you put that blowtorch? I, I swear to God. This is just like the American version of the Raymond. <laughs> but anyways, let's just... Yeah, let's just get out of here quick. I still don't get how the how those two got got behind me. Where's the blowtorch? Seriously, where is it? <laughs> I found a blowtorch in the station. Should make quick work of the coupling up there. Excellent. I'll come up there with you to have a look. All right. Here's another problem. How are they gonna How are they gonna carry that blowtorch up all the way up there? Let's just. 
take a look around let's see if we can find some new things to interact with I'm seeing some new things to to do but not much use anyway all right let's just get this over with empty that's what I figured Think this will work? Dude, you're cutting metal with fire. How could it not? I like how optimistic this guy is. Despite his very creepy look towards Clementine, I'm still very suspicious of you. Even more than even more than that lady um, who's talking to her right now. Alright. Seriously, how did they how did they get get it up there? Shit. What's up? The hose has a leak in it. Turn it off, dude. I, I don't want my eyebrows burned off. There are worse things than your eyebrows. <laughs> there are worse things that, that can happen besides your eyebrows burning, you idiot. Well it's a good thing we have a very convenient duct tape here. Souls. All right, let's try it again. Hopefully, this works this time. That's crazy. Look at it go. Just about got it. Whoa! Thanks. No sweat, man. Nice this save. It's hanging by a thread. The smallest cut, and it'll go. Well, where did you look at that? We have our solution already. I can't reach it now. Yeah, so we're gonna have Omid cut it. Here, the weak portion of the coupling's out of my reach. You think it'll be within mine? <laughs> no, but I'm gonna dangle you over that ledge. What the hell you are? <laughs> With being a bitch. You're a son of a bitch, aren't you? Shut up and start cutting. Yeah. Fuck. Omi, cut, cut. I am. It's going. Pull me up. No. Ah, oh, shit. Can he go? Shit. What the hell do we do now? That's pretty convenient. This works. Holy crap! Everything in this game is so convenient. We gotta jump. It works what? with. No way. It, everything just works with everything. Jump! No! Jump! Damn it! Still no! Fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn, this guy has no balls. For... See that, Omid? It's not that hard. <laughs> what the? Run! Yeah, that's what you get for hesitating, Omid. Don't worry, I got you. No, her, not me. Krista, no! Fuck! You piece of shit! She's a woman, don't you know? You idiot. Uh, baby, it's okay, honey. I'm okay. You're the one who's hurt, not her. What would happen if we left you? That? 
It was a lot then. Are you hurt? No. We're okay. Speak for yourself. My leg is fucked. We're fine, Clementine. We're fine. Well, that was your fault anyway. But um where's the boom? I was expecting a, a large earth shattering boom. The tank was very was very defective. We got out of that mess. Damn. Next stop, the Atlantic. Clementine has a way of stirring up our emotions. Does she? We're finding Clementine's parents when we get there. I thought they were dead. <laughs> Looking for them then. That's not the plan. Well, it's ours. She and I talked it through. You'll be all right. I'll be alive, I guess. Blood in my heart. Blood in my brain, at least. I'll leave you to your thoughts. Yeah, it's, pro it's probably for the best. He's out cold like I've never seen. Wait, I thought that, that was broken. What the? Can't wait for you to get to Savannah, Clementine. I got your parents right here. And you be sure to find me whether the league wants you to or not. Now, what I need. Holy shit. I thought that fucking thing was broken. So did I. Who the fuck was that? If he's convinced Clementine that he has her parents, y'all might want to rethink your plan. Who was that guy? Who was that guy, anyways? Well, I guess we're gonna find out in the next in the next episode. Of this game, of course. <laughs> Next time on The Walking Dead. We're almost at the river. You want to get on a boat? You want to wait around till the walkers figure out we're here? I know I promised that we'd find your parents. But Savannah's more dangerous than I thought it would be. I don't know how much longer he can keep on like this. If his leg gets any worse, we're going to have to carry him. Or leave him. If I were you, I'd get out of the street. Now! Who the hell is this? Answer me, damn it! So when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Who have you been talking to? You come back here, I'll kill you. You understand? I will kill you! All right, let's see what my let's see my statistics here. Any time now. All right. <clears throat> yeah, I, I didn't. I did not shoot the girl on the street. I left Lily. I guess there are more people who want some of that. Who wants some of that? That. Uh, Shit. I guess more more people want to have that lily ass than than the rest of us, I guess. <laughs> Alright, stand off. Did you fight Kenny? Yeah, it's not really that hard to talking him down. Just gotta just gotta find the right answers. I did I failed to do so in my first attempt. Alright. Shooting duck. Yeah. I had I had to do it. I had to be the one to do it because if Kenny does it, 
I don't know what might happen. All right. <clears throat> yeah, I did help Omid. I mean, Chris, Krista can handle her own back back there. So yeah, it's it's better to help the guy with the broken leg than an able bodied an able bodied girl. All right. So I guess there are some people who have um, a different perception of, of Lily, I guess. But still, I can still can forgive her for what he, for what she did to Carly. She might be the, she might be the only chance for Lily to have another shot, uh, another shot at um uh, another shot at romance at least. Well, still gonna have still have a long ways to go. Two more in-game episodes. Gonna be it's gonna be a long one. But I'm just gonna have to bear through with it. All right. So I guess just that's gonna be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always. I'll see you in the next one. This is Hyper Jive XA, signing off.